welcome back to my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, see all the other random videos that I like to make. In this video, we are going to be going on Pottermore and seeing what house they put me in. Obviously, I like to think of myself as a Slytherin. I feel like I am a Slytherin. So, let's see what they think and where they think I belong. All right, moon or stars? Moon. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you and smile. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Um, I think I'm going to go with I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts because it's true. Which nightmare would frighten you most? Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no hand or footholds nor any barrier to stop you following, falling. An eye at the keyhole of the dark, windowless room in which you are locked. Waking up to find that neither your friends nor your family have any idea who you are. Being forced to speak in a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. <laughs> Probably gonna have to go with an eye at the keyhole of the dark, windowless room in which you are locked. Because... Sometimes I could be a little bit of afraid of the dark, especially if it's windowless and I see an eye staring back at me. That's a little, that's a little scary. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that one. Which would you rather be? Envied? Im imitated? Trusted? Praised? Liked? Or feared? It's a toss up between trusted and praised only because I would like people to trust me and then also I would like to be praised for my achievements instead of them going unnoticed. Um, so I guess I'll go with praised. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A tabby cat, Siamese cat, ginger cat, Black cat, okay, I'm not even going to go through any more of these because that's the one I would choose as a black cat. So, I'm just going to select that one. <laughs> if you could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds, the power of invisibility, the power of superhuman strength, the power to speak to animals, the power to change the past, no, the power to change your appearance at will. Uh, let's see, it's between invisibility or read minds. Probably invisibility. I'll do that one. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The violin? The trumpet? The piano? I'm choosing that one. I don't even care what the next one is because pianos are my favorite. Heads or tails? I always like tails. I got Slytherin! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I knew it. I knew it all along that I would be a Slytherin. Yes! Yes! Uh, I'm so happy, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I always knew in my heart that I was a Slytherin. Why do I feel like crying? This is weird. <laughs> I'm just so happy because I knew that I was always a Slytherin. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video of me almost crying at the fact that I am a Slytherin because I know that I always was. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what house you are in or what house you believe in your heart that you are in. Are you Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, or Hufflepuff? Let me know. I'd love to know. And uh, be sure to like this video if you did. And don't forget to hit subscribe to my YouTube channel. See all the other random videos that I like to make. And remember to stay sweet. Love you guys.